Hey, welcome to the Sunday preview for this week. And this week we'll be reading from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 19. And it's that old story of Zacchaeus, the tax collector. And it goes like this. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was, but he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed the sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. And when they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He's gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said, Today salvation has come to this house. For this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. kind of got a lot of different elements to this um, encounter of Zacchaeus and Jesus. Um, the first clue is that Zacchaeus was a wealthy man and powerful, but here we find him scrambling along, running behind a crowd and climbing up a sycamore tree. That, would, that was the only way he could see Jesus. I guess for all his power and wealth, it didn't mean much right, as far as getting access to Jesus. And so he was, he was really looking desperately for a way to catch a glimpse of Jesus. But that just brings up the other question, why? Why was he bothering? Um, Jesus wasn't even in the town set up doing ministry there. It says he was passing through and he was intending to move on. So Zacchaeus had heard about Jesus and something was already going on inside his heart. Maybe somebody had told Zacchaeus about Jesus forgiving sinners, about him forgiving the woman caught in adultery or some miraculous healings he had done. But there was something there that started a conversion process in the heart of Zacchaeus. And he had to get close to Jesus. And it was totally uncharacteristic of him with all of his stature and wealth to climb up a sycamore tree. And I think it was at that moment Jesus recognized that the Holy Spirit had gotten to Jericho before he had, and he had started working on somebody who was lost. And when Jesus calls him down, everybody's critical because they hate the tax collectors. But it says Zacchaeus stood his ground and said, I will give half my money to the poor, and if I've defrauded anyone, I'll pay him back fourfold. That's a moment of conversion. And it's a beautiful moment because the moment of conversion is always marked by a change, right? Not just a feeling and not just a, you know, a personal subjective impression of a new relationship with God, but something actually real that I do that changes my behavior, my life. And he's willing to give up half his money and then pay punitive damage, as you might say. That's where that conversion becomes real. No. And this is the work of the Holy Spirit. And this is what we have to be open to in our lives. And this is why we have to be aware too that our conversion becomes complete when we're actually willing to change. Are we willing to change?